Hi everyone, so happy you took the time again to come over and watch a new video from the enemy. And like I always say, if you're new here and you didn't see me for the first time, my name is Yanni and I'm doing this channel together with my daughter-in-law, Diane. And our channel is the most of the content is all about DIY on a budget. So if you like this content, I hope you will consider subscribing. And of course, today it is a very special day because we are joining Natalie from Design to the Nine in her DIY channels. And of course, I'm so happy to join Natalie. We had to make three DIYs, so I have three DIYs for the Christmas season for you. Of course, I will put a link down below for Natalie, her beautiful, beautiful channel, because she's a very big on YouTube, so go check it out. And of course, I will put a link down below with a playlist with all the beautiful creators who are joining Natalie in this great challenge. So, like I always say, enough talking, let's jump into our DIY. So what I will use for this challenge is very easy. It is a lot of wood because I make three DIYs. Uh, and of course here you see my measurements. But I think you, you the, the most of you don't have nothing with it because your measurements are different. But here you see what I will do. Uh, also will do uh, two trees. Uh, a wooden trees I will cut out. So I this one I printed for, uh, on my computer. And the rest is a square. Uh, a square and of course I will do a round but I'll do that with some uh, planter uh, planter pot so I will use that one for my measurement so uh, let's go to the, my garage and then I show you uh, how I draw everything out and when I saw my pieces so let's come out come let's come to, to my garage <laughs>
you see here my little Christmas trees they turned out so nice and of course my first round I did for with my jigsaw for the first time I never made a round so I made three of them and they turned out quite okay um, and of course this will be a painting or a sign just uh, how you call it but I, for the first time I did try to make a little um, side uh, for my uh, painting but of course when you do the sides it has to be um, this way but that is a little bit difficult and I know there is a little tool for it for uh, we have uh, some tool you can do it and you just saw it in this uh, angle but I couldn't find it uh, at that moment so I did it uh, out of my out of the hand and that's really not a good idea <laughs> You have to use uh, the tool just to get it even. So, but we work with it, and of course, I hope it will turn out. At the end, it turned out great. So, but first, what I'm going to do is uh, paint all of them on the coat in the white. So that's what we're going to do first: chalk paint everything white, and this uh, will be at the end. I will do wax them because they will, will turn out in the brown color. So. This one white, this one three white, and this one, the, the, uh, both of them are uh, uh, in the white color. White? The, yeah, white color, of course. So, let's do that first. So, what we're going to do, like I say, we're going to do first do a white undercoat on the, these items. And if I do a little paint just straight on my piece, because I need a lot of them. So this will be the undercoat. And just do the sides a little bit, uh, yeah, if you call it distressed, at least uh, a little bit in the uh, white color, but not totally give it a an, an, an thick a thick uh, layer, just a light layer. I always say just move your... and of course you can distress it later uh, a little bit more. So this is one of them. And of course I will do some paint over here. You see, it's very easy to do. And of course, some touches on the sides. And if you think later it's a little bit too thick, you always can change it up. I'm just laying it over here. Try to give it the straight lines. So, now number three of my Christmas pool. But you see, I'm just doing it very uh, rough. So not really a nice uh, coating, just a little bit. Because it's only the undercoat. And of course if you like it better, you can also spray paint it if you like that more. So first again, just make straight lines. Because when it's dry, you have at least straight lines. Now I will do my trees and of course later on I will do also the the sides also for my tree. But you see how easy it is, you just don't need uh, to buy anything. Most of the time you have probably wood inside of your garage. And you just can use the wood already. 
just again straight lines and the last and like I said earlier in the, in the, in the video I did uh, earlier just what I learned from uh, Suzanne just uh, use your um, hair dryer and you can just dry it uh, much quicker that works as I am so happy with that because that makes my work a lot easier and faster because when you do the hair dryer over it it's so drying so fast so thank you again Susan Susan get gets away just go check out her channel so again the straight lines and I let this dry for the first coat and then I will do uh, this one also in the white color so everything already has an undercoat I see you then in a moment so you see already now I have painted, uh, painted everything uh, in the white color you see here my uh, trees and my uh, round that supposed to be <laughs> it is supposed to be a little uh, Christmas bulb so and of course my um, picture or the sign just how you call it and of course I did the little uh, sides you see here this will be this way so it really looks like a picture frame but I am uh, trying to do right now first I'm going to do some tape on it because I have uh, in my Christmas decor this year um, a little bit of a pattern with the stripes I made in an earlier video so I'm first I'm going to um, do this with um, tape of course and then I will show you how I and the tape is a very easy just you just take a little um, where you want to have your stripes I want to have them over here at least the first uh, part I do one small one uh, wider and another one very small so if I measure this if I am if you think that this is on top of it then you have to do uh, one smaller over here so and I am just eyeballing it but in a moment I will just measure it out if I am sitting correct or not and this is the and another one and now you see already I have the small The small stripes and then this part will be the bigger stripes so but I show you that in a moment so you see these are the two smaller stripes I will do that one first just do some paint on it and just dab it off and then just going to work your way just don't paint it this way but just tap on it because you don't want too much paint on it at least I don't if you like a lot of paint then go ahead you just free to do whatever you want and I don't do the sides just try to stay in place And I, every time I hope that I stay uh, uh, on here, not uh, that it doesn't go under my tape. But you never know. <laughs> I have many pieces I did that I could just throw away because the paint was 
under my tape so and I think even someone with experience still faces that so I don't think that it doesn't matter if you are professional or you are a, an amateur just like me every time you have once in a while I think you have a moment that it goes under your tape maybe with the different of structure but I think everyone still has it sometime so what you see right now I will use again my blow dryer but I will <laughs> don't worry don't worry I will <laughs> I will sh stop the camera that you don't get <laughs> your ears doesn't get hurt by my blow dryer but I'm blow drying this and then I will do the sm the provider stri stripe uh, around here so but first I'm going to blow dry this so be back in a moment so when all is correct he is dried up at least for the time that I can remove my tape so I hope like I said that is not under my tape the first one is okay but that doesn't say anything <laughs> I just pull it the way to the stripe so at least I hope maybe it doesn't matter how you do it but I hope when it does when it has some paint on it that it will um, go uh, on the stripe and not on my piece that's number three and number four if he will go right So you see, this is number four, and now I'm just blow drying it again a little bit that to be sure that it is um, dry because now we are going to um, measure it out, and I'm just doing the wide, the widest stripe uh, around here, but I don't want a really big uh, stripe over here, so I just just do it on top of here a little bit, and when you see already, if you give it this and this, it will give a a nice uh, rustic feeling and of course here will be a little uh, I think a little weave maybe I will do here so we will see what I will do we, uh, I'm, first I'm going to do make the white stripe so I show you that in a moment so you see I did the tape on it and I did it over the uh, just painted a black uh, stripe and I just uh, kept it such a little um, wide uh, between it so also over here and I don't push this one uh, really close to the board because or else I'm a little bit afraid that the black uh, disappears so we are just going with the finger just the line that you have to paint just uh, sque squeeze that hard because you don't want it to get under it but this one you just leave open so we are going to do now and I know probably you all know how to paint your stripes but for everyone who just enjoys watching I just run the camera so and you see I'm just dabbing and I'm not striping of uh, just going this way because it also gives a, a, a nice structure to your board and the board is also a little bit rough so that is a little bit comparison with each other so that's why And of course I use a little pencil, you could have used a bigger brush but sometimes I don't have just the feeling with the bigger brush and you just don't get the results uh, the way you want to and of course this takes a little bit longer and for everyone who already is bored <laughs> right now just like I always say just move forward and you'll see the end result if you like that more And of course, try not to go over the sides. I'm 
just try to keep it inside because the sides I will do later on with some furniture racks and I have to be make sure that everything is painted so watch close if you don't forget anything or if you like the color a little bit too light just go over it the same one the same way with the same technique just tap over it and you see it's so easy to do you can do it everyone can do it so this one also I will blow dry again and I see you in so a moment again, it is only a couple of minutes later and now we are going to try to remove this tape and I hope I have the same luck like I did with the other one and of course you can use any color with what is fitting for your decor and you can do any stripe you want so I think it turns out great so you see already now I have this piece already done because I don't do nothing more than this and a later one I will of course do my um, sides but I still need to do some uh, ribbon with some um, a little wreath and then I will do the sides uh, I will glue on the top of it or else I will have the ribbon exactly outside of my uh, little, <laughs> little board I had that earlier so also learning from experience so but now I'm going to make first I'm going to make the stripes on, uh, on top of my Christmas bulb so I will do that first but I won't bore you with that or else the video will be so long I show you when everything is finished I show you then a few so I just uh, let you pop in because I use now I have the black pieces I have done but now I'm going to do the green pieces and you just uh, saw me after you, I, you, you didn't see <laughs> You didn't see me, but but I did some green and some black uh, uh, to each other, and you see here I have a little bit of the lighter black of a lighter green, and I didn't like it the color, so I did a little black with it, and now it's a little bit more darker green, more like the Christmas green. So, and I just wanted to show you that you just can use any color you want. And even green does make it a little bit different already and I use also a darker red in a moment so you see you can make it everything fitting for your decor and with the tape you can I do stripes but if you want to do a, a star or a, a square or something else or a Christmas tree you also can you do a Christmas tree on top of it just use your imagination and just you can do anything you like so just let your imagination go so but I just wanted to show you I'm, I'm going to hair blow hair blow this <laughs> and I should show you in a moment how it look like you will see my three uh, what's supposed to be Christmas bulbs <laughs> but I will decorate them of course you see here I did uh, one of the uh, Christmas bulb a little bit of the wider stripes I think that will be, <laughs> be my, my mistake for measuring it this, these two are most of the like but they are coming in my Christmas tree this you don't see them because I have three of them in different ways on my tree we are going to decorate what my plan was is that I would turn them around and I would have done it this way but I want to decorate it uh, on the top with some greenery and some um, berries so I don't think that it will uh, like a lot maybe you see if you do this way and this way you don't get enough of uh, thing for your stripes but it, when I look at this way it's not uh, bad but it's not really what I like I think I don't maybe we going, we're just going to try to look how what is uh, better so let's decorate them first so we are just going to try to make it work we are I'm not sure if I am making the right decision <laughs> the right decision but of course when you have some uh, piece of your uh, greenery branch and you just pull it off just also uh, 
cut this little piece off it looks a little bit more um, natural than you see a plastic little plastic stem so I will do one of them and a bigger one of this one a little and I also cut this one off you see here just cut it off it's very easy to do and it gives a little bit more of a natural feeling so now I'm hot gluing this on top of my my piece and of course try to give it also a little bit uh, on the end on the edge because you're then you work a little bit away your uh, top of your um, bulb and I do a little piece and then a little bigger piece because that gives a little bit more structure I'm always like I see I always fighting with my glue gun So, you see, <laughs> it, is very <laughs> it is very bad, my glue gun, with all the wires. Look, he just keeps going. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, but just, uh <laughs> it took my attention. Um, so, I just do a little piece of this branch. You see here, this is a very bigger branch, and of course, uh, he was a very cheap I bought him last year and I still use it because in this time you still can use your stuff you have also in your stash and to use it for this year I'm doing it a little bit uh, down to give also a little bit structure down And this one also a little bit sideways and you see already hits when I am uh, ready with fighting with my, <laughs> with my cook it looks great <laughs> so you see already a little piece of this and now I'm going to do a little piece of ribbon and I'm going to at least I hope I have enough right now maybe it's a little bit too little it's, yes it's a little bit I need a little bigger piece maybe a little bit more like this we're going to see I'm just doing fold them together just this a couple of times to give it a little bit more of a fuller um, yes little bow I don't really like I said earlier in another video I am not really a bow maker so I just do this and I just glue this uh, on top of my ribbon this way but you see look <laughs> This is not normal. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to try to make a little bow of it. And I just cut a little piece this way. And a little piece this way. And I take a little piece of ribbon. Of a little piece of uh, rope. And I'm just... Getting it this way, and I'm also trying to get a little uh, in a piece over here. Just do a couple of times, so you see also a little piece of your rope on your ribbon. Then you do the behind. You just do a knot. Just don't make it too high because you have to look on it still on your piece. So it's very easy, like I said, it's just a couple of times turning them around. And now you have a little bow, and of course, you can do a little piece, can get a little piece out of it. And 
and I am glue gun it or gluing it, glue gun it. <laughs> I just use my glue gun at least when he's ready also. And I'm gluing it on top of my greenery. And now we hope it will stay this way. You see already it looks so... And of course what I think I will do, I think I will do a little word uh, under here from joy or blessed or something else. And now I will do a couple of uh, berries. So not really the big one, but a little bit of the smaller ones. A little bit of the lighter red, a little bit of the darker red. And you see how easy it is, just uh, two pieces of greenery, just a simple uh, wooden board in a bulb and just uh, make some easy stripes on it, it doesn't cost you anything. Some greenery you already have laying down, a little piece of ribbon, it can be any ribbon. And just some old berries, if you can find them in your stash. Just a little piece of glue. At least if I don't glue myself, one over here. But I am so happy to read that a lot of people are fighting with their glue gun, so I'm not the only one. I'm sorry for the noise outside. They are just doing the greenery outside. So this is already two, now it's two to go on the other side. I think I do a little bigger piece inside, inside in the middle, but I don't know yet. You can, if you like it, you see a little piece of the rope, then it will be okay. If you don't like to see it, and of course, what I don't, what I don't must forget, is a little piece of um, rope. There's a really big piece to do for on your tree. I just glue. At the back, because before I forget it, just do a little piece of um, glue on the back of your piece. And just lay some easy rope inside of it. So you can hang your piece. I hope he will be sticking this way because he's not totally dry yet. So, but I think he's already started to look like something. So now we have to um, do some words uh, uh, under here, and then I think he looks quite good for the first time that I'm making one round. Of course, he could have been a little bit, <laughs> a little bit rounder because you saw it on the top, but I used them as uh, above. So first I thought I have to turn him around, but now I see this one is also is fitting this way, so I'm very happy how he's look like. So I will do I will do the rest of them and then I show you all three of them how they turned out. So here you see everything, the three Christmas bulbs they are already finished and I think they look so cute already. 
but what I'm going to try and I just is going to show you just to do a little word with stickers over here so I can remove it if I don't like it and what I will do probably but that's not everyone um, that that's not what everyone likes I will do just a shimmer a, a little shadow uh, beside them with the furniture wax just to give it a little bit of the more old uh, feeling a little bit uh, distressed weathered but at least a little bit of the um, the wax around it. I will do that for myself, but I will show you first a little bit how you can do it with some sticker and if it will uh, look okay. I don't really know. That's why I do stickers and I just don't do it with some um, paint or something else because or else I can remove it anymore. I had a letter M. I only I am lost my <laughs> letter M. <laughs> He is gone. <laughs> I have to look for my letter M. Um, if I can, it's only for look right because I still have new stickers, but it's a little bit to try on. So we just turning the letter. Oh, the letter W. We just. Use it as the letter M. You see, you can use anything you <laughs> you want. You just just go for it and just do whatever. And of course the A. And then see already I have too much too little space over here. So, but it's only just to look how letters will look like. And you see already looks a little bit how he looked like. I think it's. It's looking okay. I I cannot say that I don't like it. I can. I'm really. Um, yeah, I didn't have. I made up my. I didn't made my, made up my mind yet. So I first I'm going to move a little bit the letters further away so I can get a little better idea for how it will look like. And of course, that's the great thing about uh, stickers. You just can remove it and you just can use them. At least if I get them off. I will do that out of camera because this is taking much too long for you. I see you in a moment. So you see how it can look like. I am not totally sure if this is what I like. So, but I just wanted to show you, just give you an inspiration just so it also can be this way. But I... I'm not really sure about what I would do if I uh, draw on it or if I do the stickers or something else or a little picture I don't know but at least this is how the way it looks like and with easy stickers you just can remove it and you can do something else so this is just an inspiration now we are going further with my uh, picture and making a wreath on my picture so here you see my picture board of picture at least what I will make as a picture or a sign just how you call it um, first what I'm going to do the easiest way what I could do is just take a simple wreath and just hang uh, in front of it but that doesn't fit me fit for the Christmas season so what I will do is uh, another try I don't know if it will work I think I will glue this one in the middle and I, th I think a little bit over here and then I will make a round and then I will make my own uh, wreath with my uh, greenery I still have so I think I will go I'm going to try to do this so we first we're going to glue this one on my board and then we are going to make my wreath so I just want you to t take you along in my uh, thoughts because uh, if I do this uh, ribbon, I really don't like it that it is just in front of everything. So this is not really mixing with my feelings. So I, maybe I will do later on some rope. But I even don't like the ribbon. It's much too much for me. And I draw here a little circle. Uh, and this is the, my guideline I will use for my greenery just to glue, uh, glue it in place. So... So I have a little bit of an, uh, an, an um, example the how big my wreath has to, has to be. So this is what I will 
the glue around here so I take you along with some pieces but at first I will do some or else it will take much too long and please tell me if you like a, a, a little bit longer video so you like a little bit more to see how I do it but I, I always have the feeling that I am taking too long so I will glue this pieces um, around here and then I show you how it looked like so now I I know it's taking a little bit too long but I just want to take you along with me just pull away uh, a little piece of the greenery so you uh, have a, a clean and a natural look so just do some a little piece of glue behind it and just pull up uh, the branches before and just lay down the next one on your round and you see just he falls over it and now you're going to do the other one just again cut away the little plastic stamp so it looks more natural and just again at least if I have glue that's always the so just do this just again move up and just turn it a little bit around already inside of the shape of the round and of course it has to be a look natural so of course it is not a perfect round or else it wouldn't look like a wreath so but I just wanted to show you a little bit sorry for the people who think it's too long but for the people who likes it I just show you a little bit how it looks like or else everything is already done before you see it and now you see also what's going wrong and again just move it over here and just lay lay it down and just lay the next top again back and you see he's already looking like a nice Christmas wreath at least I think so so again the next one and a little piece over here so you can lay very flat on your board and you see everything still is on a budget is very cheap if I can see the round <laughs> I'm getting a little bit older <laughs> so finally the round is a little bit more difficult when you don't mess around it too much and I'm struggling again with my glue so chaos again but you are familiar with that if you follow me already for a long time you know it's always <laughs> a big chaos over here so again I'm just forgot to take this piece off so he can lay and just a little piece of glue and just lay it again on your measured round and just lay back the next one of course the line of the the, uh, the, the, the <laughs> even in Alice we call it lime that's why I every time I'm confused because we call it a lime so I get away the pieces of glue don't worry so again a new branch and of course I have to pull some pieces out to get it flat on my board but you see here everything is still old old branches and when we have the circle of this one then we are going to work our way around the weave again with another greenery I have a feeling that this glue gun is giving more wise than any glue gun in the world <laughs> and he also doesn't stop look <laughs> oh my so. so you see now I have the base and now I will fill it in with some pieces of this uh, branch but you can use any branch you like I think I oh, of course I hope I can give it you a little bit closer just always okay, cut away this plastic uh, piece because it makes your wheat uh, yeah, cheap but it doesn't have to be because if you just 
doing it off you see already it just is a beautiful pick and you just can use it so i will squeeze this one also in in pieces and i'll show you how that look like so you see i just did the pieces over here i just uh, cut the little stems off and of course what i wanted to say is it gives a more high-end look than that if you leave the plastic on so you can see with even plastic branches <laughs> you still can get a high-end look and it is so easy everyone can do it so i just did some pieces just shove them in and you see already it gives such a great uh, uh, read so what i will do right now i will just glue some uh, berries uh, beside them because i don't want a very busy read of course what you can do if you like more than what i have you just can pull also some couple of these uh, branches in just uh, glue them in somewhere you think it's fitting but i think for me it's a little bit a little bit too much I just, but i just wanted to show you that it is also a possibility maybe over here and you see it still can give also a little bit more structure to your um, read it does come more a little bit to life so and then a couple of red berries and then you see you're already finished and then we go to do the sides of, of my picture frame and then i am deciding if i do a little i think i do a rope around here i think i like that better than the buffalo check because this is a little bit too much for me coming uh, out of the painting so i think i do a, a piece of ribbon of a piece of uh, rope so but you're free to do anything you like but you see how easy it is board paint simple stripes just some old greenery and some uh, berries around it and you have your own piece for the christmas season and it doesn't cost you anything so i do this first and then i show you how it look like so here you see the finished touch you see already with the berries it looks so nice so i'm happy how it turned out i will finish it off totally for you with the sides on it and a little piece of rope and then i i am back to show you everything so this is how he is finished so i think he turned out so nice and of course you see here um there were moments that i <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't have my saw straight but I always say we call it rustic so I did my best to make a, a very a nice straight line but not every time it works but I think it works on this paint because it is a very rustic we just call it rustic so I think it turned out so cute so now in a moment I show you all the three DIYs I made and I, how they turned out so I hope the lighting is still okay because it's getting a little bit darker here. So what I totally forgot is to show you the uh, little tree I have also over here. And I will do them also for you. I did the stripe tree um, in the back and the white on the front. And I'm doing just a couple of greenery in front of the white tree. Of course, again, some little pieces of greenery. On top of here, and then we just do the same layers. Just a little piece of this one. And also just getting him in front of the other one. You see, just this little piece over here and a little piece over here. Here we do the same with this one. And we do it this way. So we leave room for the little berries. I just did some couple of berries. I have already glue on my Oh, my scissors but we still going through glue pro problems or not but we going through we just get one over here and a little piece over here 
and just squeeze them in in the spare room you have here now we hope everything will stick together so you see here how he looked like he looks so cute and so Christmassy with only a couple of touches of the greenery and the berries so now you see already I finished this one also so now I show you how they all three turned out I have you here a little bit more in the light so I have it with my fireplace here you see my sign sign picture just how you call it and look how cute he turned out here you see my three Christmas uh, bulbs I made and of course uh, I have to find some new stickers because I don't like the lettering of this sticker but you see already a little bit how it can look like but of course I will take this one off and do them uh, in a different way and of course my little Christmas trees and I think they are so cute for in my bouquets so I'm so happy how everything turned out but you will see them back in my decor for the Christmas season and like you see and just saw I, it, I, I'm a little bit afraid that it will be a little bit of a long video but you will see how you saw just saw how easy and on a budget everything is so I hope you try it also so this was my three DIYs for this challenge thank you so much Natalie for hosting this great challenge I had so much fun and everyone go check out the playlist with tons of inspiration for your home so go check it out and of course I hope you like it if you like I always say if you see me here right now that means you made it to the end so thank you so much for that and of course I hope you enjoyed watching my three DIYs for this Christmas season I am so happy how they turned out and to use them in my Christmas decor and like I always said please I hope you take a, a little bit of inspiration with you and just try to do it yourself because everything is easy and on a budget so go check it out if you like the Yen and my content I hope you will consider subscribing and like I always say please have a beautiful beautiful day stay safe take care of yourself and take care of each other and we hope to see you in a new video love from the Yen and me bye, bye.